After trying out several ways to plan out my nighttime routine and just basically over complicating myself too much I have created a very simple nighttime routine which not only makes my evenings productive but also allows me to relax and enjoy my life Stay with me till the end and figure out a way to give these habits a try in your daily life Hi everyone welcome back to the channel I am Shweta Catch me up on Instagram for some daily life updates and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Now before I was trying to follow so many timetables which eventually I ended up not to follow because they were either too jam packed or were not giving me any time to relax with two kids and loads of household chores the timetables kept me daunting all the time when we keep things simple that gives a feel of achieving the result which is practical too Now dishes are something which are never ending in the kitchen. I try to empty the dish rack as many times possible in the whole day. When I'm emptying the dish rack, I'm making space to keep more dishes, so loading dishwasher and emptying the dish rack for freshly washed dishes go together. Washing as quick as my one job is done is the mantra I follow to keep the load of washing all the dishes at one time. Once we are done with the dinner, there goes the final load for dishwasher. And by this time, the dishes which I washed previously are also dried up. so i will keep them at their respective places it really helps to give a clean look to the kitchen once i'll come back tomorrow morning the utensils which require hand washing will also be washed at this time Now since I am already in the kitchen I'll do some quick meal prep for tomorrow Like I had to give suji toast to kids in the lunch box so I will fine chop all the veggies and keep them in the fridge Once the dishwasher is loaded it's either Nandini or Yuvan who put the tablet inside They also feel a sense of accomplishment and helping me so hitting two birds with same stone I never sleep with a dirty kitchen. If not everything, then the kitchen countertop and cooking range definitely gets clean. Soaking nuts is the last task in the kitchen for me. Once I put kids to sleep, this is something I have recently started and I regret not doing it earlier. Before I used to clean the living room in the morning but then sometimes I either used to forget it or maybe put it on later If I had any visitor the next day it was very embarrassing but now I keep all things back at its place in the night itself Living room is the room which is used most throughout the day Kids watch TV here sometimes play and color here so i tidy up everything once i'm done with putting cushions at their places i will give a quick wipe to everything It does not take me more than 3 or 4 minutes. Just like kitchen, dining table is the most traffic area. 
and it is a must wipe area as this is the most used item in the living room. Do multitasking if you can. I am a lazy person when it comes to skin or hair care but decided to put a sheet mask. And while the mask was on my face, I changed the bed sheet. I washed the mattress protector in the morning, so that was also a reason which forced me to change the bedding. Otherwise, every night before going to bed, I clean my bed sheet once again and make my bed properly. Do give this thing a try to get a very good night sleep. I always try to put the bed sheet as tight as possible so that in the morning I don't have to fix it again from all the sides. Now who wouldn't get a good night's sleep on this comfortable cozy and clean bed? I always empty my laundry basket in the night and load the washing machine. So as in the morning the first thing I have to do is only switching it on. Once it is done I know I will hang the clothes out on time and remove them in 2-3 hours. This is the time when I can change the face towels too. Do not forget to brush your teeth, wash your face and change your clothes. Contrary to what I thought and this is the interesting part, this is helping me to get more things done than all my previous routines did. I am a slave of to-do list, have told it many times, my brain cannot function without a to-do list. Once my to-do list is made, my brain completely works on an autopilot mode. Earlier I used to make this list in the morning but now I make it the previous night. It has helped me a lot in planning my day since the beginning. For me, my me time is the utmost important thing. Because if I will not take care of myself, then who else will? I cannot pour from an empty cup. Filling my cup first gives me a great sense of accomplishment. As a mom of young kids and a homemaker, I get only as much time in hand for myself. I use this time to engage in activities which relax my mind as it helps me recharge for the next day. And let's face the fact, a happy kid comes from a happy mother. So all my lovely ladies, take a cue and prioritize your me time. Try to reduce your screen time just before bedtime. Remember, small changes can make big difference. And do not forget to share your ideas on how you fill your cup in the comment box to help others. Do not go without subscribing the channel as it also helps me filling my cup. I'll see you very soon with another video. Till then, take care and stay connected.